James Melendez, James the Wine Guy here in Penticton. This is in British Columbia, Canada. And for me to be in Okanagan Valley, this great wine producing region is phenomenal. For me, uh, it's something that I've studied. It's something I looked on, on maps. I looked at Google Earth. What does it look like? But you can't really get that notion until your foot on ground. I think the foot on ground tours that I do are just really educational for me. I get to understand what is occurring here. What is the lineage and heritage? And what is the passion of the people? For me, this is a beautiful city. So I'm going to just put this bottle down for a moment. I want to show you the beautiful, glorious sunshine, which I think a lot of people don't expect. In my own city of San Francisco, I don't get this glorious sunshine, uh, but a few times a year. So you'll see the main street here in Penticton. It's a beautiful city surrounded by hills. Uh, actually, not even hills. These are gorgeous mountains on either side. And a really nice farmer's market that I visited this morning. Now, the story on this wine here, it's uh, Summer Hill Estate. And to highlight this is to look at a variety that you cannot get in the United States. This is called Edenfelser. This is Summer Hill Pyramid. Visited this in June 2013. So I'm here, just so you know, for the Wine Bloggers Conference 2013. So this is a really interesting wine. It's a cross between Riesling and Silvaner. So created in 1929. This wine in particular, though, and there are different variations and styles that occur in Edenfelser. It doesn't all taste the same. Now, in this wine, this is an off-dry. It's about 34.2 grams per liter. And for me, in this warmer weather setting, it's a perfect wine to have. And something is surprising. It doesn't taste like, um, I think, either variety. And that's what happens when you put two different uh, wine grapes together. They tend to produce something different. And for me to put, um, you know, acquire this bottle, taste it. And uh, first of all, I'll show you a little closer view of this uh, 2012 Edenfelser and uh, back panel for your review here and you'll see this and this is from Canada uh, you'll see that there is no obviously Surgeon General warning here on the back which is not required in Canada and um, you'll see that it does say product of Canada called we do Canada which is a um, you know the bilingual portion that's required for labeling in Canada for BC wines or wines from Ontario or other regions so this wine here we go take a taste of this and uh, give you a point score and uh, something that's just really perfect for this time of year for the warm season. Low alcohol, 11.8%. Here we go. Mm. For me, this is like a wine that I want with a cupcake. I want this as a dessert wine. So I probably wouldn't start off drinking this wine because of its off-dry um, uh, state. I would definitely put this with a dessert. And to enjoy after dinner. So beautiful notes of warm Amish pear, Spitzenberg apple, and that makes truffle honey, hibiscus, and butterscotch. This is an 8.7 out of a 10.0 scale. You can also think of this as an 87 points out of a 100 point scale. For more wine reviews, please go to jamesthewineguy.com. Subscribe to my videos on YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, Vimeo, Google+, Pinterest. Salud.